it's finally gonna be lived in. I am with my friend Brandon. Say hi, Brandon. Hey, YouTube. What happened? You have a flat tire? It doesn't feel like it, right? <laughs> the home that my client really, really wanted accepted our offer this morning. Yeah, that goes right. You probably are close to a size too. That looks really cute. loves welcome back to my channel if you're new here don't forget hit that subscribe button down below and notification bell so you don't miss a single video so today i have a very busy real estate day i have to head over to our post box for my property management company to pick up some mail then i'm going to go over to my rental listing we just got that under contract and the tenants want to do some measurements that one's supposed to be closing on the 28th then i have to run over and grab me and my partner sign over at a property at a listing that one didn't go so well real estate is not always sunshine and roses i know that us realtors we make it seem like it all the time but not every deal closes not every deal goes through and that property unfortunately had solar panels and y'all solar panels are the biggest scam in real estate i'm gonna go pick up our sign and then i'm going to meet the tenant for the measurements and then after that i have to head to claremont to show four properties to one of our repeat clients then i have to head all the way to deltona to show a few properties over there as well so i'm gonna be on the road all day long today but i love it so i have to first get the lease done before I head on the road, so we're gonna do that. So the rent's gonna be paid in full. Total payments, including tax, is gonna be twenty nine hundred. Is that or bank deposit? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Perfect. Just picked up our mail from the mailbox on Staples. I would say for anybody wanting to eventually become a business owner, it is such a learning curve to learn everything in business, especially when you have a co-business with somebody else. With real estate, I am a business, but it's just me. So with my Smooth Say property management company, it's me and, and my business partner, Jeff. So it's definitely a learning curve because um, we had to have one person as the main name and then the other person as the other name. And so like some things, it's like, it gets That's like a little wobbly. Time. I'm very grateful that that guy was like, nice about it because mailbox wasn't his name and i did not realize i could have sworn i put my name too on the mailbox but i didn't so i just pulled up on sunbiz I'm like hey i'm the co-owner of the business so he was very nice about it he's like yeah i know it's a learning curve so i have no problem out i will uh give you the mail since it's only one piece of mail but for next time just know you need to register your name under the same box but, Anyway, on my way to the rental. Just got to the property. My camera died, so I'm using my phone. <laughs> but you guys already saw this property. So, no need to show it again. But I'm so excited that this one is finally being leased because it's so cute. Like, I wish I could lease this place. It's finally gonna be lived in. I brought my laptop so that way I can get the lease done while they look around and do their measurements. Kill two birds with one stone. <laughs> but um, yeah, I am so excited for them because this, this place is just, at first they were like, at first they were like, can we buy it from her? And I'm like, yeah, no, my client was adamant. Like I am not selling my beautiful home. <laughs> so. Yeah, it has a tub and it has a shower and the dual sinks and the toilets inside. And it has high ceilings. My favorite part of the house is definitely the kitchen because this kitchen is just, oh my gosh, gorgeous. 
release is now done and submitted. So now just wait for everyone to sign and then wait till move-in day. So it is two days later, guys. My last two days have been really, really hectic. So I literally, it was like a blur, like blink. <laughs> the day that I was filming, I ended up showing a client. So I went over there, showed them the properties. They truly picked one that they are in love with. Cash buyers, they're like, can we close tomorrow? <laughs> I was like, slow down now. <laughs> uh, we got the inspection first. We have the inspection for that one on Saturday. And then we're gonna be closing sometime next week, Wednesday. And then I had another client that I went to go show property to. It was like six o'clock at night and it was like so dark. I showed her three properties and she liked all three of them. And after that, I had to go back to the cash buyers because they're older so they didn't want to do the online uh, e-sign. So I had to go all the way back to their house. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just laughing because it was like, oh, it was a really funny meeting. We were just chatting. It was like literally almost 10 o'clock at night, just chat, chatting about like everything under the sun. And Tyler's like, um, <laughs> you okay? So busy, busy day that day. Then yesterday, I had to negotiate the three offers. I had meetings on meetings on meetings. I was just so tired by four o'clock that I, I tapped out early that day. So here we are today. We're gonna to be meeting up with my friend Brandon that you guys met. We actually started a YouTube channel that is strictly, 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 like just real estate. As you know, this page is like my life type of page. That page is gonna be strictly Central Florida Real Estate. So if you're interested in learning more about Central Florida Real Estate, our page name is Central Florida Homes and Insights. I will make sure and link the page in the description box below. But right now I'm getting ready because we're gonna be filming a home tour uh, for that page. So this is what I'm wearing. I love how Elsie just stares at me in my shenanigans. This is the dress that I'm gonna be wearing. I got this dress from Shein too. I'm on my way to Brandon's house. It is so cold outside. It is 56 degrees right now in Florida. Like, and the temperature is supposed to go down to 44 tonight. Comment down below where you live and how many degrees it is outside. Y'all, I'm struggling. I am struggling. But I did bring a sweater. I'm not gonna wear it in the video though because it's not gonna be so cute but it should be fine we'll be able to get something good do i have something i've been watching this whole time <sighs> but yeah so i just got to my friend brandon's house and i'm on the phone with my clients so i'm gonna go actually in his car to head over to providence in davenport i am with my friend brandon say hi brandon Hey YouTube! <laughs> so we are heading over to the first property that we're going to be touring. <laughs> Blooper! Um, if you guys didn't know, his name is Cookie. That's the nickname. <laughs> Which makes <Yes>. sense. <laughs> I also have a sweet tooth. <laughs> What's your favorite snack? Or Chocolate chip cookies. Like oh. you literally could call me Cookie Monster. <laughs> My personal Instagram, Cookie Monster. You can find it. <laughs> now I know what to get you for your birthday. It's a whole pack of cookies. I'll never be mad. <laughs> so this first property here is at Providence, which I've been here before, there before. Have you been there before? This will be my first time visiting, actually. I'm very excited. Yeah, it's a great community, and it's for all the golfers out there. You can play golf there as well, so. We're gonna be doing an, a property tour and a community tour over at our new YouTube channel, Central Florida Homes and Insights. So, again, if you wanna check out our channel and check out the community and the home, make sure you go to the description box below, click the link, and subscribe to our channel. Please subscribe. <laughs> Need to get out of the corporate world. I'm losing interest. It's quick. So, real estate is the is the way. Yeah, I need something new to put my my patience into. So we just got to the house. There's someone there already, so we're waiting for them to get out. But um, it looks cute so far. So we just finished at the house. The house is so gorgeous. I almost bought for myself. Listen, if you don't buy that house, you're crazy. I'm telling you. I'm crazy. Telling you. <laughs> so now we're heading over to... Turn left onto Rosemont Circle. Now we're heading over to the clubhouse. So let's check that out. So 
So welcome to the spacious office area that we have right at the front of the home. As you can see, it's well ventilated, it has beautiful light tile. Now we're at the heart of the home. If you're anything like me, you are going to love this kitchen. So first and foremost, look at the beautiful granite countertops and the very deep sink, as you can see here. Now what's great about this kitchen is that it's open so that way you can still enjoy the space while enjoying the rest of your family while everyone's either watching TV, having fun, but also you have lots of countertop space for your prep and an abundance of cupboards for lots and lots of storage. To see the full home tour, make sure and subscribe to our new channel. Let's go check out this one. What happened? You have a flat tire? It doesn't feel like it, right? <laughs> but it's pulling to the left. I think um, I have a spare, so that's gonna be. <gasps> you have a flat tire for real? How'd that happen? I should listen. <laughs> we were just I was like, yo, this is pulling a lot more than I have ever had. Oh yeah, so biggie. I've changed tires all the time. Okay, guys, I'm glad it's you, because <laughs> if it was me, it I'd was be like, ah, Tyler. AAA! <laughs> Tyler, somebody! We're good. I don't do, I don't do tires. It would be the day I'm dressed up. <laughs> right? There you go. Alright, sweet. So, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, title the vlog, <laughs> something went totally wrong. <laughs> And then she's like, oh yeah, she's a tire. They'll be like, really back up? <laughs> Unsubscribed. Gotcha. <laughs> and they have the Christmas decorations up. Okay, okay. Look at this gorgeous pool area. They have a whole slide, splash pad. Oh wow, this this is it's like a resort within your home. There you should go. Ready? Three, two. And they also have plenty of seating areas, so if you just want to come back here just to relax and enjoy the views with the nice sun, you can eat at the table, they have umbrellas for some shade, and there's plenty of seating areas by the pool. But they have the huge slides over there, and they have a mini slide right here for the kids. And I'm just so impressed. I don't think I've ever been to a community this elaborate. Actually, I lied. I've, I've been to the community with resort style type of uh pool areas but that was like a strictly red like a strictly rental community that's an exit only becca reed all right how do i get to the gym probably mm -hmm. so they have a full-size gym here they have tennis courts over there they even have like an area where you, people can watch you Oh, you want to get the tennis courts? Just get like a B-roll over. We don't have to talk. You must be 16 to enter. There's another door you need to pop for. Yeah, she says she'll see in the cameras. Try now. There you go. <laughs> so we are all done recording. And uh, Brandon is changing the tire. <laughs> Thank God it was him because Lord knows I'd be stuck. Triple A Tyler. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> save me. I'm so glad I listened. <laughs> Those lessons? Yeah, like my, my father taught me this when I was like 17, 18. Oh, wow. I think I learned it and then, then it just like dumped it out of my brain because I'm like, nope, that's not a task <laughs> I'm, I ever want to do. Listen. Maybe I've had too many flat tires. <laughs> so you got the last knot off. 
We should tell them about that last night. Oh yeah, he stepped on his foot like mm. <laughs> TikTok and university taught Becca <laughs> that on that very last one, if it's stuck, you just put that little knob in and you jump on that. Yeah. <laughs> See, like Imagine I told him. That. I'm not really good at doing it physically, but <laughs> I know how to do it. Okay. We got there. Well, tips and tricks. Woohoo! Off she goes. Yay! Where was it? I don't see it. Keep going. Do you see anything on well, the sides, maybe? Keep, uh, keep turning it. There has to be a nail or something. Oh look, what's that? Oh, I thought that's it. too small. That's wild. Oh, just like that. Just Did we time like we should have timed it. We should have. <laughs> it was like ten minutes max. That was it. <laughs> wow. I am so impressed. <laughs> and we're out of here. Thank God it was you, cause I'd have been still sitting here. <laughs> Waiting for AAA or Geico's version of it. Right, and I know I pay for it too, but I'm like, I ain't, ain't got no the time. Way. I ain't got the time to be sitting around waiting on that. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. What a day. So, um, just got home from the debacle. The spare tire was actually flat too. We had to wait for his partner to get there and pick us up. And now we're home, now I'm home. So I was starving, so I swung by Chick-fil-A and got me a salad. And I have like 10 minutes before my next appointment. To chill down. But um, on the way back from going the property tour with Brandon, one of the properties that I submitted an offer for said that our offer was accepted. So very happy about that. Mm, 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 mm. A listen that I have, they went, uh, we had a showing yesterday for it, and the person said that the house was gorgeous, they loved it, but they're submitting an offer on a different one, and we're like second runner up. Mm, this ain't busting. So fingers crossed, you know? A bit housing. Just beg it. Right now I have a meeting with my implementation specialist who is helping me with a new system that I am applying to my business. So I am giving my customers an upgraded experience when it comes to searching for homes. So do you have it set up already? Do you know if we've integrated that's yes. all set or yes. in the getting? So Fran said that um, Not Follow Boss is now officially integrated with Ylopo and they did a test. How many bedrooms and bathrooms? Uh, maybe like a three-two. Do you know my square foot feet? Uh, so according to the picture that he sent me, I'll have to look on that one. Let's see what that one is. Something like that photo that he sent. Okay. You mean the photo of the of the new construction home that he sent? That you right, sent? Right. Okay, so everything that he sent me. Yes. Gotcha, gotcha. So he's trying to build a, a that one's a four bedroom, two bathroom and a half. Okay. Okay. So he's looking for comps in that address area that are four bedroom, two bathroom and a half. Right. Cool guys. So I am all done for today. It is six o'clock. I had the meeting with my systems that right after I forgot to press record, but I had a meeting with my business partner, Jeff, to go over the financials for November and to do the payouts for our investor. And then I just got the phone with Jana, who's my co-agent. We're gonna be selling a property over in South Florida. Anyway, but, oh my gosh, I have such a bad headache right now. It's been such a busy week this week with work. And I still have to uh, go ahead and start getting ready so we can hit the gym. I'm like really exhausted, guys. All right, I gotta drink some water, but 
Can't stop me up for Friday. I have my casual Friday look going on with my black hat sign. Rocking that out today. Super duper busy day today. Great news. A home that my client really, really wanted. Accepted our offer this morning. Yo, I am so, I'm so excited for her because that house literally had everything that she wanted. Had a listing appointment this morning and secured that listing coming soon in Sunrise. So, great morning so far. Now, I am about to head over to our Airbnb in Davenport. The guest over there needed a few items from the supply closet. So, I'm like, I'm gonna be in the area anyway. So, let me just swing by and I bought the guest so. Y'all, this is literally a vlog of me working all week, so <laughs> I hope you guys are enjoying it. Also, look what came in yesterday. <sighs> so, let me put the light on so you guys can see. So, the flower girl baskets came in yesterday. Can you guys see it? Oh my goodness. Oh, I literally cried. I was like, <laughs> It was so cute. Feels real. I can't believe the wedding's coming up so soon. Just got to the property. Okay, so they're not here, so they must have stepped out. So she needed some more paper towels. So I'll take some of that out and then, and toilet paper. So. I have a tissue paper. Our additional washcloths went missing. So I'm heading to Target now so that way I can grab some more washcloths to put into the unit. Here, let me pick out a candle, Christmas cheer. Mm. Ooh, that smells good. Okay, I will do that. The sun and I'm gonna grab some candles since I'm here already. I wanted to get some candles for the holiday season, so it's a holiday spruce infused with essential oils. Okay, nice. Back of it. Done. So I'm now home and I want to show you guys what else came in the mail. So Tyler had got this guest book alternative. So what it is, it's a box with little hearts and then people at the wedding can just sign the heart and then put it in the box. So that way we can have a memory of all the people that attended. Tyler got Elsie this toy and oh my goodness, look at this toy. Really girly, having fun. <laughs> it's not the theme of the wedding, but it does match the theme of the house. So, so we can put it maybe by the entrance area. Let me show you there, and or maybe move this little box right here, and then put it there instead of that box. It is now Saturday. I had a meeting this morning with my realtor partner, so that way we can prepare the new listing. I just got to my home inspection and the inspector's almost done. 
So I'm gonna go inside and see how things are doing and I'll show you guys what the property looks like. It's so cute. I had a dream last night. Last night. Did everything I never do in real life. I stepped into a room, told everyone to be quiet. Cause I had something to say to everybody who way, wear whatever I want. Dressed in a gown, everybody's like, why are you going nowhere special? Just going to the store. I think I'd have it all. Tell you why I've been more. Licking the plate, being a plate. She is on a rule. Never seen her like this. Didn't think it existed, no truly. Don't get in the way. She's not in a place. She'll get moody. But don't mistake this girl for being me. They're going to be purchasing this home fully furnished and then and they're using this property for short-term rental so I'm excited. Just got home from the last showing. She's a first-time home buyer. We're going to be wrapping up the offer for that one. We should hear back by Monday or Tuesday. I am about to start getting ready. Today is Lily's first gymnastics meet and um, they only allow two spectators to go in so Tyler is heading back home from work so we're going to be heading over to meet with them so that way we can at least have dinner with lily after to do her like celebration for her me so i'm like, so excited true life of a realtor literally working Me ended early, so we're just gonna swing by men's warehouse and get Tyler's suit altered. Ready to go? I'm ready. So I realized that I didn't really explain it properly. So we were still an hour away, and Lily's meet ended early, so they went to dinner early. So by the time we would have got there, the dinner was gonna be already over. So we ended up just swinging by men's warehouse instead. And then when I sit down, they do right stuff to show my job. Um, and then ties, she's going to talk to you about. Yeah. Okay. So here's the tie that matches with the dress. Desert coral with the coral. That looks nice. And inside the suit, check it out. It says our wedding date in b and Becca and Tyler. So we have Tyler's suit all figured out. Did you like it, babe? Like, yeah. how'd it fit? It looked great. It looked and, great. And it felt great. He wasn't feeling claustrophobic. Uh-uh. Felt good. But we're still going to shop around for another shirt just to see <clears> if, <throat> if it's going to stay white or maybe like a little off-white. And then we also have the ties figured out. So we are almost done. In a week, his suits should be ready to be picked up. Yep. And, um, yeah, that's done. So now we are heading over to K Jeweler so we can get some bling bling for our hands. Get his bling bling. Do you know what you want? Like what style you want? Mm, no clue. So I'm trying to decide between this band and this band. Plain white gold bands here. And I've got the flat bands here. These are plain gold, white gold. And then I have some, these are also white. Yeah, that goes right. You probably are close to a size 10. That looks really cute. Yeah, that sounds very popular. Nah, the other one looks better. The other one looks better. Black and blue one there is kind of sharp. And you can feel the weight difference when you try it on. The benefit of a plain band is when it gets scratches in it, you can always polish it and makes and it makes it look brand new again. With if you get the lifetime warranty plan on this band, when the brush gets scratched down. So we made it back home and I am like so exhausted. I'm ready to just like pass out, but I wanted to make sure and close out this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this week's vlog. It was just a lot of me working, <laughs> but hey that's my life so comment down below a ring 
if you watched this entire video. The affirmation for this week is, I am a magnet for joy and success, attracting abundance and positivity to every aspect of my life. Claim it down below. <laughs> Why are you looking like that? We'll see you on the next one. Bye guys. Bye.